Ever since I started building in-ear monitors since 1995, the biggest hurdle for musicians was the isolation from the fans, the isolation from the noise. They feel like they've lost all of the energy, they're not connecting with anything. So what did we do? We put up two, four, six, eight room mics, fed it back to the console, put it into the artist's head, and that creates a, its own problem. There's time smear because the mics are off, everything's arriving late, there's lots of reflections. The proper way to do this is to put the microphones, obviously, on the ear. It's not rocket science. It's been done before, but we figured out how to do it the correct way. So let me introduce it to you first, the Ambient Pro. The inside of the Ambient Pro is a Sheena four-way circuit, brand new circuit, very wide frequency response, very natural sounding earpiece, which is very key to making these microphones sound natural. And then on this side, we have, from our friends over at DPA Microphones, we have high SPL, omnidirectional microphones, uh, they're lavalier mics that we've actually fabricated into the faceplate of these earpieces. They are set at a 35 degree angle off center for directionality. So when you turn your head, it sounds like there's nothing in your ears and actually everything sounds very natural. It's really quite unsettling how it sounds like your ears are completely open. You have people that take one earpiece out, only use one earpiece in a wedge so they can hear the room. This is the perfect solution for that. If you're having a problem with occlusion or being sealed off from the audience, you need these microphones. People have done it before. Michael built a very nice product over at Sensophonics. It's called the 3D. And we do it different, right? And I think that we do it the correct way as an engineer, coming at it from the mixing perspective. The Sensophonic microphones go to the bell pack, and then they go straight back to the artist's ear. So the sound engineer, has no idea what's going on inside the artist's head. He can't hear the mix. He can only hear what he's doing on his mixing console and sending out to the artist. You know, the artist can have the microphones on and he walks over to the drum kit, and I've had this happen to me, and he turns around and says, why are the drums so loud? Well, it's because your microphone's on, so you have to tell him to turn the microphones off. Well, as a monitor and a sound engineer, I want complete control of what's going into the artist's head, right? So when the drums go up, I want to be able to bring them down if he walks closer to the drums. So anyway, what we do is we use this very slick, it's electrosonic system. It's the only stereo microphone transmitter that's out on the market right now. So it's a true stereo transmitter. So what we do, we take the microphones, we wire it off, we plug the microphones into the stereo transmitter, and then we take the receiver and we plug that into the sound console. So what happens now, the audio engineer listens to it. We set the microphone so they're at zero dB, so there's no super hearing. We just set them at zero by listening to your voice, get it to where it sounds very natural when you take them out. Then you bring the mix down, four, six, eight dB, 10 dB, whatever you want for hearing protection, but it sounds like there's nothing in your ears. Whatever I'm doing on the console, I want to actually be able to blend those microphones in. I want to be able to make it enjoyable for the artist. And the only way I can do that is by being able to monitor the microphones through the console, through the mix. Before there was in-ear monitors, we had wedges. The artist would go out on stage, he would listen to everything, and you would basically take that speaker, give him his vocal, and give him whatever he needed at that position on the stage. The difference is, now you can recreate that situation, which is much more immersive of being in the performance than a sterile stereo mix, which, don't get me wrong, it's, it has its place, but for this type of artist that wants to hear what's going on around him, this is, I think, the best way to do it. So you basically use this, the ambient mics for most of the mix. Then you fill in what's missing, vocals, like I said, piano, maybe a little hi-hat. And then as you move around the stage, it's like you have nothing in your ears. You walk towards your drum kit, like I said, it gets louder. You go over to the, to the guitar rig, you hear the guitar rig. It's like you have nothing in your ears except for at a reduced volume. So, now they're right back in it, but we still have hearing conservation and we have, you know, very clean source to the ear. The Sensophonic 3D uses a different type microphone element that actually is designed pseudo for a hearing aid. And what it does, it's a proximity effect. As the further you are away from the microphone, the more it rolls off. So if you have the, the 3D microphones, you're going to hear people very clearly next to you because the microphones were actually designed to try to eliminate background noise for for like hearing aid applications. So if you have the microphones on, the drums are gonna sound like they're over in the next room. You're gonna be able to hear people talk to you because as you get closer to microphones, they pick up more. 
the DPA omnidirectional mics that we use, it sounds very natural. The drums sound just like they do when you take them out of your ear. So if the drum kit's 20 feet from you, it sounds like it's 20 feet from you. It so everything sounds very natural. So the proximity effect of the microphones is a huge difference. If you want something for communication, we can also adapt microphones like that into the earpieces, but we prefer to have a full frequency response, very natural, open feeling, so the artist is back in the performance again. On a side note, there's also a hardwire version. Obviously, if you're a drummer or you're a keyboard player or you're a monitor engineer or something like that, you don't necessarily need the wireless. You can plug into a hardwire. So obviously, it's much more cost effective, uh, much simpler. But if you just contact us directly, we can put you in touch and we can get that, that system set up for you as well. Thanks for watching the video about the Ambient Pro earpieces. Please feel free to give us a call if there's any questions you might have. One of us would be happy to chat with you about it. Take care.